Hi, my name is Annie Ditto. I'm a licensed clinical social worker and have been counseling since 2004. My latest passion in, in my profession is the practice of self-compassion. As I have studied self-compassion and been trained in the practice of mindful self-compassion, I've seen it um, be transformative in my life and also the lives of my clients. The practice of self-compassion is simply offering yourself the same loving kindness, the acceptance and the understanding that you would to somebody else that you love and care about. It's treating yourself with, with that same um, tenderness and, and understanding that you do your loved ones. The practice of self-compassion has three components. The first one is mindfulness. Mindfulness involves um, feeling and recognizing the difficult emotion that you're feeling in, in that moment. Giving it a name and, and recognizing in your body what it does. Um, maybe it's anger and, and you can tell that it's anger because your skin feels hot and, you're, and your heart is racing and um, your stomach's upset. Some of these physical manifestations of the emotion are important to uh, notice and be aware of. And that's mindfulness, to be able to, to name the emotion and to feel um, that emotion throughout your body. Number two is common humanity. It's remembering that as humans, we all struggle. We all have trials and challenges. That's what we signed up for, to experience pain in our lives and to um, go through difficult times. And when we remember that we have a common humanity in, in struggle, it pulls us out of a place of isolation and that why me or why am I the only one? And, um, and we remember that I'm normal. It's normal to struggle. It's normal to deal with difficult emotions. And the third and last component to mindful self-compassion is kindness to self. It's using those same words and maybe even actions that you would um, when a good friend is suffering or going through a hard time. I feel passionate about this, this practice of self-compassion and have seen it make a big difference in my life and, and, and in the lives of others. I would love for you to join me and my friend Andrea in Eden, Utah, as we host a retreat on May 13th and 14th. Come and learn the practice of mindful self-compassion. Learn how to deal with difficult emotions in a more healthy way. Learn how to transform your relationships and learn how to offer yourself that loving kindness that you're so good at offering to others. See you there.